G'day folks, it's Paul here from Deep Cycle Systems. Now today we've rigged up a little test um, with a winch and we're going to be sort of uh, explaining to you, you know, how much current these winches are drawing. Uh, can you run them on a DCS lithium-ion batteries? We get asked this question all the time on the emails and via phone. So we're doing a little video to explain more about it, teach you how it all works, what the sort of loads are and, um, you know, explain exactly what you've got to be mindful of when you are winching off, uh, off our DCS lithium batteries. Now, the winch we got here on this vehicle, it's a 2.2 ton uh, Mitsubishi Challenger, and we're running an entry-level worn to bore 12,000 pound winch. Now, it's an entry-level winch, so it's going to give us really good current draw. Uh, typically, the, the cheaper the winch, the more entry-level it is, the more power it's going to draw. Um, better quality winches have better gearing, um, better quality components, and they're going to draw less power. So you get what you pay for. So this winch is going to be a really good test because it's going to be quite a thirsty and energy hungry winch. So it's going to be ideal for our testing today. So let's rip into it. All right, we're going to start loading up this winch. And we're going to have the camera on the amp meter. And we're going to see exactly what's happening. So we're going to do like a 15 second pull now. Okay, so you can see there the winch is sort of drawing around that 200 to 250 window. Um, <clears throat> that's on a, on a decent uphill dead weight pull with all the brakes on. Okay, and you can see the voltage isn't, is, is quite happy. It's not loading up and dropping very much. And you can see it's sitting there between 2 and 250 amps. Now, we're running two 75 amp hour DCS lithium ion batteries. They have a, one hour, a 100 amp hour battery management system built in to each battery pack. Now two of those are in parallel, which means we know we can do a 200 amp hour continuous pull with no effect on the batteries or the electronics or that battery management system. That's what it's designed to do. Now you can see we're hovering just above that. We're only 10% above that, averaging around 220 amps on that draw. Okay. Um, for 10-15 seconds, that's perfectly fine. It's not hurting the electronics whatsoever, and there's no issues there at all. Okay, so now we're going to do a test. We're going to load it up even more. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to put a snatch on the back of the vehicle so it's actually stationary, and we're going to really load up this winch properly now, and we're going to see what happens. I just want to quickly show you and, sh and show you what the voltage is doing on those batteries. So we're going to zoom in now, and again do a 10-second pull, and just look at the voltage curve as well. So you can see there the voltage is sitting quite flat at about 12 volts so <clears throat> even when it's loaded up at 220 odd amps it's nice and flat there at 12 volts that's the beautiful thing about lithiums and that's why they're actually ideal for winching off because you're not getting a big voltage drop like you would on lead acid batteries especially as the temperatures increase and you start running that winch for longer durations all right so we've got the car strapped down i've got a snatch on the back of it up to another big tree so basically simulating a, a dead weight pull. Um, we'll be able to really load the winch up now and see exactly how much current it's drawing. So let's have a look. Okay, so you can see there we're in the high 200s and we're sort of in the low 300s there, so peaking at 300 amps. Now, a 300 amp peak is sort of at the limits where you want to be on the smaller 75 amp hour batteries, okay? Because remember, they're running 100 amp BMS, so we're, we know we can do a 200 amps continuous, but at 300 amps, we're going to start getting the, B, the BMS is quite warm. They're going to start heating up there. So on a, on a really big tow like this, a uh, really big pull like this, you really... Needs to be mindful of the duration of your winch. Okay, so 
if you're only winching in bursts of 10 to 15 seconds, you're going to keep everything happy. You're not going to have any issues. Okay. Now that's quite important. Um, typically, if you're stuck out in the bush and whatever, you need to winch the vehicle five or ten centimeters, and you're going to be back on your way. If you're really bogged down and you're really in serious trouble, um, you know, you'd, you'd want to be and you're doing some extreme fall driving. You really like to go out and be super adventurous. We highly recommend the hundred amp hour batteries because you can winch at a continuous three hundred and peak up to that four, four fifty, five hundred amps with no issues. With the little 75 amp hour batteries, um, both connected in parallel with a permanent override on the isolator, you're really limited to peaking at about 300 amps and backing off after 10 seconds, just to keep the batteries happy and you don't want to do any damage to the battery management system. Okay, so I hope that explains a bit to you. Now we're going to go back, I'm going to get and keep winching now, and we know we're at the 300s, and we're going to do another 10 second blip. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so again, we've really loaded up now. Um, we just did another 10 second pull. We're sort of sitting at 300, 320 amps. We've done another 10 seconds. So again, we're just going to wait 30 seconds, another minute. The batteries aren't getting hot, everything's happy, okay? And we can do another 10 second pull. So here we go again. Okay, you can see there we're really starting to load up now. We're at 370 amps, okay? Okay, so now we know we're loading up now at 370, 380 amps. We've got quite a big load on the winch. Um, Let's have a look at the voltage and see what the voltage is doing now with that massive load on the battery. Okay, so we're loading. You can see the voltages are dropping all the way down to 11.2 volts. And we're just shy of 400 amps load on the batteries. Okay, so we're, we're sort of approaching the limits now car's anchored it's not moving the winch is really drawing in super slowly it hasn't started squealing yet it is actually still still wrapping and still and still pulling um and you know at, at this point in time with with this sort of huge load on it you're sort of at the limits of what the battery management system in our batteries can cope with okay so at this point you've got to be mindful of uh winching when you're running the small batteries okay so up to about half of the winch capacity no problems we're only sort of low 200s. Now we're sort of at 80, 90% of the winch's capabilities. Um, we're probably towing and you know, pulling four or five tons. And, you know, the, the, the current is quite high and the batteries are getting, uh, you know, to a level where they're not really designed to pull so much current, okay? So what we're trying to explain is if you've got a relatively light vehicle and you're only going to be winching for 10, 15 seconds at a time, loading up the winch to about half of its capacity you've got no issues in the world go for your life with 275 amp hour batteries they'll winch all that load all day long if you're going to have a heavy vehicle over 2.2 tons going to a cruiser going to a patrol running a bigger winch you must use 100 amp hour batteries because that's going to give you that continuous current draw and and not put you in a position where you risk damaging that battery management system okay but again here we're doing a test today um, on the smaller batteries really loading them up working them super hard showing you what's going on we're going to keep doing this test for a bit longer and see if we can actually break or damage anything so we're going to keep keep loading this up and see how much amps we can pull okay so we went straight to 420 amps then um, the winch is basically it's struggling. It just—it's got nothing else in it that it can that it can produce. It's completely loaded up, and um, that's as far as, as far as it's going to go. We'll just try it one more time. Okay, straight to 480 amps, and we just—it's just not got any more grunting to pull any further.
Okay, so absolutely max this winch right out. It instantaneously jumps to 480 amps. Uh, the voltage is dropping into the tens. So we know that's it. We've, we've maxed it out. We just cannot get any more um, power out of these batteries as it is. Obviously, we're doing these tests with the alternator and the vehicle not running. Uh, typically, you're always going to be winching with the alternator. So you're taking the load off the batteries. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll fire up the car and we'll see if we can actually put, um, you know, if we can assist the winch and see if we can pull in more current and actually keep moving a little bit. We'll see what happens. Okay, we've turned the vehicle on. Um, we're still in the same position. Let's see if we can still assist the winch and see what happens. Yeah, okay, so the fact that the alternator is running, it's making no difference because the winch is absolutely maxed out. It can't possibly pull any more power from this position. Okay, so you just saw there the resting voltage of the batteries is still around 13.2 volts. Okay, so we've pulled very little capacity out of the batteries. Um, and cranked over the motor, everything's fine. There's still plenty of juice left in the batteries. It's simply the matter of the fact that the winch is completely loaded up beyond its maximum capabilities. It's gone straight to 500 amps, which you saw, 480. It's not moving the drum. It's just absolutely chockers. That's the end of it, okay? Now, we've done that repeatedly now for four or five times, for 10, 15 seconds at a time. We haven't damaged anything. We haven't burnt the boards out on the batteries. The batteries are still fine. The battery management system is still fine. We don't recommend to take things to such an extreme level, but we've done this test to show you how robust the electronics are inside the DCS batteries. Okay, um, we've basically taken a 12-pound winch, loaded it all the way up to its absolute maximum, um, and the vehicle is just not moving any further from now. Uh, in real-life situations, if you are actually stuck. Um, the winch is always going to keep moving in your directions. You're going to be able to move your wheels. You're going to be taking a load off the batteries. You're going to have the alternator assisting. So technically, you should never be in such an extreme position. Even running the little 75 amp hour batteries, they're quite capable as a dual battery setup to run even a 12 pound winch, as you've just seen. 